again YouTube <coughs> um, this is a uh, the file knife grinding jig uh, technical information uh, like setup details um, because I was asked recently by um, a YouTube watcher um, subscriber uh, how the um, the grinding sort of setup works how to get the right angle and do you have to adjust it and things like that so I'll just run through it quick um, while I've got a spare few minutes um, now, normally, uh, you'll start off with your uh, steel, the knife, the knife blade itself. Uh, I haven't cut one out yet because uh, I haven't got a, a need for this knife shape at the moment, or, or a knife out of this stuff at the moment, but uh, I will be in shortly, so uh, I won't cut it out just yet, just in case. Um, but uh, what you'd do is, this is 4 mil stock. Um, so you need originally, well, ideally, you'd need to uh, scribe a, a line right down the centre of the edge, sort of right two mil in from each side, obviously, um, or draw a line on there. It depends how you want to do that. Um, now, one way of doing that, to the scribing of it, um, is to get your two mil thick piece of steel, uh, which is exactly half half the size of this, and you can. Uh, put a little um, like a scribing block, a chamfered scribing block, screw that through this onto the a piece of wood say um, like so just drill a hole and screw it down and make sure the flat edge of the, the bevel of the scribing block sticks out and is down at the 2 mil height and then you can draw the steel along it like so and then it will scribe the line in there for you uh, alternatively, you could um, draw it on, and some sometimes if you get a, the right marker or the right pen, you can lay it flat on its side and draw it. And it's always best to flip it over and do the line again. That way, you can see if there's two little tram lines, or like really close together, or if it is right in the, the middle, and that will give you a guide. Uh, once you get used to making knives, you can eventually just do it without marking the edge. Uh, but for beginners it's, it's better to mark the edge just so you, you've got a reference of how far you can come down with the grind um, which you'll see at some point uh, or get, you'll get the idea of it as I explain uh, right so the first step after you've got that scribed up is when, and it's clamped in your your vise yeah you can see that um, so that the uh, the file which is down the back there will rest on it from the back there so you can file upwards against it um, now the height of this as long as it's roughly in the right place it's not too essential because you can adjust the height of the back bar to, which adjusts the angle for it so but um, sorry I'm just trying to figure out the best way of explaining this uh, Maybe I've missed anything. Oh, oh yeah, um, imagine your knife shapes on here, it curves around, and you're doing one bevel on this space. And then, obviously, what I do is I make sure that this bar is parallel with the edge of the work surface, so that the edge of the, the jig is parallel with the work surface. Then, when it comes to flipping it over and doing the other side, I just on this portable setup I just loosen the clamp off and slide it to the other end and I know it's exactly the same distance so it'll be the same angle and I also to take up some of the space underneath I, I use a block of wood and lay that on in the vise first on the rails and then clamp the wood in so I know it's always at the same height in the vise um, also keeps it at a more workable level if it's too low down then there's going to be too much of an angle and it's going to need a lot of adjusting or if it's too high up it's going to be too flat and it will need a lot of adjusting upwards so you'll get used to roughly where where the right sort of angle is going to be height wise and then it's just the tuning of it um, then you need to decide what angle you want the grind to be so uh, for a 22 degree bevel you want 11 degrees on each side so the easiest way to set it up to 11 degree is get a protractor and a piece of paper or a a roofing gauge, a roofer's square, whatever you want to call it, and on there it uh, has the angles marked up this side. That's the, the outside ones, that's the only ones that matter to us 
on this ang on this gauge, this type of square gauge, whatever. And uh, what you want to do is mark it. So keep the edge level, or if you're using a protractor, you keep the uh, the cross at the bottom corner. Mark up 11 degrees, which will be there on this one, which is half of 22, obviously. Then join that line up with the corner. and that will give you your baseline and uh, the easiest way to transfer that to the jig is simply just to cut out a, a section of it so if you can see that at all get it in the right place yeah you just about see the line there so you don't need the whole thing just cut out a section of it and the stiffer the card is the more accurate it will be and more useful so that's your 11 degree bevel this little triangle here, so we don't need the card anymore or the scissors. Don't need a bit of wood. Now, because the angle is going to change slightly as you grind steel down, it's going to finish after the hardening process. It's going to finish dead on the middle, so you don't want to take it down all the way. You want to leave it between half a mil and a mil thickness on the edge to finish off the grind after you've hardened it because it will when you sort of fire off all the scale and that you'll take material down and uh, you want to finish it right at the edge when it's all done rather than back from the edge um, as I was saying because this is four mil steel you want it and it'll finish halfway you want the two mil steel you've got or two mil block and lay that on top of the jig and that will give you the equivalent angle of what it will end up at when it's finished, been finished grinding. So to set the jig up use your little wedge in here and that's almost at the right angle. So you can, uh, you need to go up a bit this one so simply just Loosen off the top screw, the uh, top nuts. If you haven't over tightened them, and then without wobbling too much. So you can line it up with either. either the top edge of the file or the bottom edge is parallel so it will be exactly the same angle whether it's the top or the bottom edge you can get your piece of card to stand up right and that wants to come up so want to keep them as parallel as you can at the, the bar at the top of the jig it wants to be the same both ends so that when you come to flip it around and do the uh, the other grind it will be accurate which needs to go up all that side And this is exactly the same principle no matter what angle you're you're doing so obviously if you've got five mil thick steel you want this piece to be two and a half mil thick whatever the thickness of the steel is you want half the thickness for this the set of piece When you've got it set up to the uh, the correct angle, just use a, uh, a any kind of ruler measuring device to make sure that um, tighten it down first. 
so it's in the right place. And you have the finger tight will do for this. Then measure both ends of it. Nearly there, it needs to come up a little bit on this side. up the, uh, the bolts without adjusting the, the lower bolts. Tighten the top bolts down and that will give you your uh, correct angle once you've taken the, the 2mm piece off that we were using before. That will give you the correct angle for working on. Uh, normally I have this jig a little bit further back but uh, this is a, a different workbench to the one I normally use so it hasn't got the holes drilled in for it so it would give, give you more of a stroke with the file um, and that's about it really um, obviously remember to, that files work in one way uh, on the forward stroke so try and either lift it or release the pressure at least on the way back and uh, that should work Hope, and, uh, hope, well Hopefully you'll understand that working out the jig works itself, but uh, hopefully all my explanation of how it works and how to set it up helps. Okay, thanks for watching. Speak to you later.